Hello again. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu 12.04 um, alongside Windows 7 so that you can dual boot. So, first, you need to go to ubuntu.com and go to the download. Uh, you're going to select Ubuntu Desktop. And you're going to go for Ubuntu 12.04 LTS, that's a long term support. Uh, and I'm going to select a 32 bit because that's um, suitable for my machine. Um, but you might need to check uh, whether yours is 32 or 64 bit. Uh, and the way you do that is go to com computer, right click, go to properties. And it tells you right there under system type. Sorry, my camera's not zooming. Uh, it's not focusing. There you go. Uh, mine's a 32 bit. So I'm going to select the 32 bit. And you hit get Ubuntu. Now, on this page, you just need to move these sliders to zero. You have to do this in order to get uh, Ubuntu for free. And as you can see, the contribution price is zero. So I'll just hit download. Uh, save that to your hard drive somewhere like on your desktop, somewhere where it's easy to find. I've already got it. Um, I've burnt it to disk. Uh, it has to be a DVD. Um, and then when you've done that, um, put the disk in your tray and boot from it. So I've booted from the disk and I've pressed F12 to bring up the boot menu. Uh, and I'm going to select onboard or USB CD ROM drive. Enter. Okay, so this is the, the start of the installer. Uh, you, get, you get two options uh, one to try Ubuntu. Um, where it loads the contents of the disk into RAM memory and you can use it as a live environment um, so you can so that it enables you to try Ubuntu before installing um, and you have the install um, option as well now we want to install alongside Windows 7 so I'm going to hit install For best results, please ensure that this computer has at least 4.4 gigabyte of available drive space um, and that you're connected to the internet. Uh, I'm going to tick install third party software. That's the that's, um, software that will um, enable you to play MP3s and flash content and whatnot. Uh, it's always good to have that, especially for YouTube. Click continue. Sorry about the shaky camera, I'm, I'm uh, using my mobile phone for this. So the next step is asking you what you want to do. Um, install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7, replace Windows 7 with Ubuntu or something else. Now I never choose something else because it gets a little bit complicated. You have to uh, prepare partitions and things like that manually. Um, but if you choose install Ubuntu alongside Windows 7, um, the Ubuntu installer will partition the hard drive for you um, and set everything up. So that's the safest option. So I'll just click continue. 
But this is where you choose your hard drive. I've got two hard drives on my computer. Um, for some reason, my second hard drive isn't showing up, but uh, the 80 gig is my main hard drive, or my C drive in Windows. And these are the, what the partitions will look like after you, um, after you, after you commit the changes. So that there is where my Windows sits. That there is where Ubuntu will sit, and you can you can select how much space you want for Ubuntu just by moving the slider. I'm going to set about 18 gigs. So just just be aware of the hard drive. If you've got more than one hard drive in your computer, just make sure it's got the correct one set at the top and then hit install. It will now ask me if I want to commit the changes to the hard drive. Uh, the changes need to be written to disk so just say continue and that's going to partition the hard drive. It's going to give me an 18 gig partition just for Ubuntu. The next window that we see is asking for your location. Um, I'm in Manchester, uh, but uh, London is close enough for me. Okay, this is where you select your keyboard, English UK, English UK, that's fine for me. And this is where you put your personal details in, uh, like your username and password. Okay. I'm going to change the computer name, that's a bit too long. I'm just going to call it Mark Ubuntu. Username is fine. Password. Okay, and I'm going to say log me in automatically. And continue. Computer I'm installing this on is it's quite an old machine. I'd say about a 2004. Um, it's a Dell Optiplex um, desktop. Uh, it is, the model number is the GX280. Uh, it's got um, an 80 gig hard drive, uh, 1.5 gigs of RAM, and it's got a 3 gigahertz Pentium 4 hyper-threading processor. Um, so it's a dual thread, not a dual core, but a dual thread processor. Uh, and Ubuntu and Windows 7 seem to run perfectly well on it. Um, so for an old machine, it's it's not bad. This window is asking if you want to transfer any files from the Windows 7 partition over to Ubuntu. I'm just going to say no to that. So don't put a check in the uh, in the box. Just say continue. And that's all the input that it needs. Uh, so I'll just let the installer carry on and I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, so when the installation is finished, you're presented with this dialog box asking you to restart the computer now. So I'll restart and I'll come back in a minute. So after rebooting now, um, we're presented with this grub menu. 
which is the Ubuntu bootloader, if you like. Um, as you can see, there's window, the Windows 7 is at the bottom, but by default it would automatically boot into Ubuntu. Um, so I'm just going to press Ubuntu. Installation took about 20 minutes, which isn't bad at all. <clears throat> it's a lot less than uh, Windows, about half the time. And there's the Ubuntu 12.04 desktop. This up here is a bit like what the um, the start menu does in in Windows. Um, you can change settings to the displays, get to the software center, install printers, and this is where you shut down your system or if you want to log out. Date and time with calendar, volume controls. Stereo controls, that's your internet connection, and that's your email and chat. So there we have it, Ubuntu 12.04 installed to the hard drive. You have to bear in mind that if wish to no longer have the Ubuntu on your hard drive and you want to get rid of it, you need to boot into Windows 7. Uh, and there's a few ways to, to get rid of Ubuntu. Uh, one, you can use the disk management uh, utility and you can delete the partitions there. Um, but after doing so, you then need to rebuild the MBR because Windows 7 won't boot up if you delete the Ubuntu partitions because it gets rid of the grub menu um, so you need to rebuild the MBR and there's a couple of programs that you can use to do that one of which is called EasyBCD and another one, I've already done a video about it is Minitool Partition Wizard um, in, the, in the Minitool one you can actually delete the partitions and rebuild the MBR all in that one app um, but with BCD, BCD will just repair the MBR. Um, so you would need to use the, the Windows Disk Management Utility to delete the partitions. So I hope this video helped you. Welcome to Ubuntu 12.04. I'll probably do a review of it shortly. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.